Throughout your work as an online learner, you develop effective communication skills. For example, you are communicating when you engage in a discussion forum, when you send an email, and when you submit a written assignment. Communication takes place continuously with your instructor and classmates as you interact with the information presented in your course materials. More effective communication practices leads to a more effective learning process. Let's look at some tools you have access to that will help you communicate in your online course. One way to practice effective communication is to learn about settings and notifications in Canvas. We're going to click on our name or our picture over here in the global menu. And then you can click on settings. This is where you can add methods of communication like personal emails and cell phone numbers. After you get your methods of communication set up, you'll want to click on notifications. You can choose how often you are notified and which notifications you will get. You can be notified right away, send a daily summary, send a weekly summary, or do not send me anything. Heinze Learning does not recommend clicking on do not send me anything. At the very least, get a weekly summary. Staying in contact with your instructor and your classmates is easy if you set up notifications correctly. So you can actually set up if a teacher changes a due date to get notified right away, grading policies, course content, announcements. So make sure you visit the notification preferences interface. Another popular communication feature in Canvas are the Canvas discussion forums. Lots of instructors incorporate discussions into their weekly modules. You can access the discussion and post to a thread. Your fellow students will be able to reply to your post. Online discussions are a great way to learn more about your course content and learn from a community of learners. All you have to do is click on discussion or go to modules and click on a discussion. All you have to do is read the directions on how to complete the discussion from your instructor. When you're ready to reply, all you have to do is click on reply and you can add that here. You can add text, videos, podcasts, and links. To learn more about this rich content editor, you can click on help and resources, and let me show you how to do that, and then go to the search the Canvas guides. Once there, you can search any Canvas function or tool, such as Rich Content Editor. And you can read all about what the Rich Content Editor is and how to use it. One final note that comes up every semester. You have two systems of communication with your teacher, fellow classmates, and Heinz Community College. You have Canvas Inbox and Heinz CC Email. You should make it a priority to check both consistently. I would suggest every day. You will get Heinz email messages from offices like financial aid or the business office. You could also get instructor emails in your Heinz email box. You can access Heinz email from your My.Heinz account. Canvas Inbox is a popular mode of communication from instructors and fellow students. You access Canvas Inbox from the global menu, and there's the icon right there. That's the gray global menu. You need to be sure to check both often. You don't want to miss out on important information regarding your course or your student account. I hope these communication tips are helpful. Don't forget you can contact Heinze Learning if you have any questions. We're always here to help, and thanks for watching.